this. This is quite important here, look. So keep it there, round his eye. Then that's coming straight underneath and down and round. And then there's another bit in there. And then we've got the white, the really lovely white bits there. Kind of really you can see that they're outside of his highlight on the edge of his eye so I put them in a totally wrong place they're here nice and bright get them in nice and bright that's it and then this is coming down here it's quite bright And thin line. Then we've got some hairs coming all through here, like a web. There. Then put that back in. Then we've got another light line coming here. It's kind of coming in the same direction, really. Then that's light on the end there. Light on the end here. This is a lot lighter in there. They've got white as well as the cream. Just put little streaks in there. That's it. Then here, I've got some streaks coming through here. Nice thin lines. And there's some white, white here. And they go around in here. That's light. It's also a bit orange, so I don't know what we're going to we'll put the put a pinky colour over that. I think just very slightly. Yeah, I think that's okay. Then we'll put some little white. They're yellow, but we'll put some white flecks in because I like white flecks. See the shot nice on the dark background. Here's my black, hard black. There it is. Ok, 
just want to make that nice and short, that line. Oh, it's gone a bit wiggly, but that, that's okay. We can leave that. Doesn't matter. Don't worry about things like that. It all helps for authentic hair. Authentic dog hair. Now, this is dark. These are really dark in between these hairs. We've got to make sure that they stay nice and dark back here. And when you're doing this, you can put nice bends in these if you want to. You're just putting lines in, you see. You don't need to colour it all in. Just put those sharp, sharp lines in. Too rounded there. I'm gonna make that straighter, and it'll look better. I think a look more like the the picture, which I think looks better than what I've got here. black on that wrap rubbed off onto my hand. On the side. So I'm using a pencil on the side. That's going to be cropped there. So let's get some orange in there.
let's just take a look at these. Yeah, we could do a bit more black in there. A bit more red and a bit more black. So we want the orange and black. Yeah, see it's got to come up here. Under his ear, it's got to come up to here. some black, some black in here, with a line of black. And then we want some green and the orange. quite sharp so we need to do that and then do that then it's got lines going through the back then we'll do the underneath that green with black keep that really strong in there This needs to be more red. That line there is, is nice. I'm gonna get that back in. The one's got too rounded. I like this the way it is. That's it. And we'll just some more red on the end here. This needs a bit paler here. Goes up there. And then these can have some streaks in. That needs to be a bit redder in there. Literally just picking through these sections, looking at each section, and then making it the right colour. This has got a line coming through here. We 
get some white, get some white on this bit here, and put that in again. some creamy lines over that right flat mark not too many just to soften it a little bit because it's quite dark Okay, I noticed something that wasn't quite right here, so just going to try and do that. This, yeah, I've tried to, did a bit of this. What I did last night is I looked at this when it was quite dark in here, and that's a bit like squinting your eyes to me. That's It works for me, and it's probably not very good for your eyes, but you look at it in the dark and then you can just pick out the bright areas that you've you've not put in for a start. If you can see it's bright on here and you can't see it on here, you could just pop it in then. Um, so I did a bit of that last night and yeah there's a bit of black missing here. See? Just there. And These are red up. Just soften them down a bit. dark in there and yeah this is the bit I noticed oh yeah that's missing put it back 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 in this is quite an important bit this but this is what happens you know you do you do lose bits when you're drawing Just get more 
most creepy looking there. We'll have to put the black through that because it's gone too, too feathery looking. And it's a bit more spiky here. So we'll do that with it. Then we'll go over the black. there. We've got that lovely light bit there. And we've got another light bit up here. bright blue in then I'll leave it um, and have a look at it and have a look at it tomorrow then but I think it's nearly finished I think it's nearly finished um, it's very as I keep saying it's so easy to overdo it now I'm just going to have a little measure these lines here coming up about like that on his body so they need to come up they're in about the right position there if if I had kept a mark in the corner here, look at where it was, I, it's kind of there really, it's kind of there, and it's there. So, yeah, I just need to bring it up a bit properly, and then up in another direction here. some little flecks of, oh, I think it's white. Alright, don't know if that looks quite right, but I'll have a look at it tomorrow. There are lighter areas, you just kind of get a feeling of something happening over the back here but nothing nothing too much nothing too much so we just put something a bit something there just about to see something there and I'll put them white in again because they're quite strong those little white bits find difficult is where would you sign it so I, I usually what I do usually do is I, um, I usually put the mount on and you know just position it exactly where I want it and then when the mount is in place I just put a piece of paper over the mount nice clean piece of paper I lean my hand on and then I, I sign it so that it's nicely positioned in the corner of the mount that seems to work pretty well um, but with this, I don't know where I would sign it actually. I'd probably sign it here. Probably would sign it here in this corner. And I'd probably do it in cream. Um, I have to take the advice of my artistic advisor, my husband. <laughs> he always 
knows where to sign it. He always knows just the right thing to do. So I do take his advice. You know, I will ask him, where do you think I should sign it? And he'll tell me. So, very lucky, aren't I, to have an artistic advisor. Anyway, I think it's finished. We'll look at it tomorrow. And um, I'll do a quick video tomorrow just to go over it and finalise everything. And then, um, if I've got the mount handy, I'll pop it on and we'll, we'll have a look about signing and seeing where it should go. And, um, I don't know. It'd be nice to do a poll. Where should I sign it, really, wouldn't it? You could be my artistic advisors. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching. So I think I'll make two videos out of that. So anyway, thanks for watching.